Our work on the objective of lesson four involves the compensation strategy. To see how students will be learning the compensation strategy or did learn the compensation strategy in the classroom, please see one of my other videos. Today we're just focusing in this video on completing the homework. So students would see that 23 minus 9, shown here in this double tape diagram, is similar to 24 minus 10. What do we need to do to each number to make it become 24 minus 10? Well, 9 is 1 away from 10, so we will add 1. And we always add the same to the top and the bottom. That's what will make it constant so that our difference is the same difference, 23 minus 9 and 24 minus 10. But now it's easier to mentally subtract 10. So I know my answer is, thir tw excuse me, <laughs> so I know my answer is 14. On the next problem, we're not given what will our equivalent expression will be. So we'll write in what our original tape is, what our original two quantities, and then I want to make it easier to subtract. So I'm going to add 1 to this. And if I add 1 to my subtrahend, I have to add 1 to my minuend. Or if I, both numbers have to have the same amount added to them so that our difference remains constant. So 32 minus 19 is the same as 33 minus 20. So 33 minus 20 is 13. As students move down the page, they will have to now draw the tape. This is good practice. And it also helps students think about the quantities and their relationships. So first we have 50 minus 29, but I would really prefer to subtract in groups of 10. So I'm going to add 1 to 29 and 1 to 50 to make this 51 minus 30, and that will make this easier to solve. 